tent under the bridge. Uh, not a single heroin needle in this picture. That is, uh, this looks like a city that's won an NBA championship. What if I was like, that's my time, bye! Uh, Seems like a nice city, I've never been here before. Nice place! They cleared all the, my Uber driver said they cleared all the homeless people out for the marathon. Yeah. And then I was in San Francisco last week, they cleared out all the homeless people for a visiting Chinese dignitary. I think I'm sensing a pattern. Uh, if you want to clear out your homeless people, book Jeffrey Osmond. It's all right. homeless to camps. I love that shit. You know, like San Francisco's all like tents. It looks like the whole city's an REI ad, you know? It's like, check out the Lunar Dome 3.0. It fits eight people in a meth lab. Come on. I think it's good enough for Coachella. Come on. <laughs> Saw a few white homeless people today. Anyone else love white homeless people? That shit rips, dude. It's motivating. I love white homeless. A guy who looks like me shitting in a bucket, that's my Black Panther. I'm like, oh shit, the privilege is wearing off. Oh, look, we gotta, we gotta fucking try again, dude. You know? I used to think I wasn't homeless because I was white. Now I'm like, I guess I'm not homeless because I'm talented. Oh. I fucking earned that 22k last year, dude. Great opener, very funny. Okay, this one's gonna determine if you guys are cool or not. Okay. One thing you notice going to like San Francisco, Portland, all these places, I think I've learned that I, I think well, I think the Native Americans could have defeated the Europeans if they had fentanyl. Uh, Smallpox. Uh, the Cherokee, if the Cherokee had Percocet, they'd rule France. Uh, we can't get enough of this stuff. I like your vibe, man. What's your name? I like you. Toby. I like you, Toby. Okay, this is a thing that's important. Does anyone, uh, did anyone watch my comedy special that came out like two or three months ago? Uh, okay, okay. A guy said no back there. I'll light you up, dude. I'll light you up. Here's the thing, I'm gonna tell all new jokes, none of these jokes were on the comedy special, and that means they're not all good. Uh, Y'all gonna see how the sausage is made, and sometimes when you see how the sausage is made, you don't eat hot dogs anymore. Uh, that's such a good line, that's such a good line. Toby, I love we're gonna get to know each other. Toby, you ever had, you ever had bondage sex, Toby? That's just the first joke in the lights, I know the first time. Sex, you have! Toby! You got, a, you got a little hair on that one testicle, I like that! Were you the tire or the tie Toby? Tire. You hate to hear that, that's sexist. You hate to hear that. The times are changing, Toby. The times are changing. My girlfriend, we had bondage sex. She tied me to the bed. Little fucking woke switcheroo. Little fucking didn't work out though because I fucking busted out of there. You know? <laughs> Sorry, I bench 110, babe. Whoops. Yeah. You're gonna need more than fruit by the foot to cage this tiger, honey. Maybe next time try some Twizzlers or a Chinese finger twab. Uh, you don't even need to tie me to the bed. Just play a Lord of the Rings trilogy. I won't move for a night off. strong for sex, dude. I'm too fucking strong. Dude. My girlfriend, she tried to peg me with a dildo. I crushed it in my ass. The girls in high school were right. I'm unfuckable. My tight little ass. I'm ready for jail with my tight little ass. Dropping the soap like, come, Jesus, I thought that was a wall. They couldn't even build a wall. It's just fucking tarp, okay. Well, that'll go in the Yelp review. Huh? I almost fell through the damn thing. We gotta start 
the show over now. Okay. What is this? Sacramento? What is that? even a fucking tent under the bridge? Okay. God, you guys will never get to hear the jail ass rape joke. I guess. We'll do it later. We'll do it later. Did you like the tying up, Toby? You like that? I think it's kind of fun. I, I think I, I like getting tied up because I was raised Catholic. I think Jesus invented bondage, you know? He wasn't crucified, he just forgot the safe word, folks. Don't, don't believe the Roman propaganda. She made me wear a blindfold too when she talked about it. How'd she made me wear a blindfold? I was like, what am I supposed to do with my blindfold? And she's like, just imagine you're somewhere else. And I'm like, oh, that's business as usual, honey. Uh, maybe this time we'll get a little freaky and I'll be in the moment. Uh, pretty funny. What are you drinking, Toby? What do you got there? An old fashioned. I like that, Toby. I'm drinking a gin tonic. I'm a beer guy, though, deep down. Beer guy, deep down. It makes me a little bloated on stage, though, so I don't drink that. Uh, is anyone else uh, sick of, like, how do I say it? Microbreweries where, like, the beers have silly pun names? You know what I mean? I went to this brewery the other day. One of the beers was called Hops and Prayer. One was called Love You Beerly. It's like, alcoholism isn't a fucking joke, man. <laughs> Like we need, we need like sad beer names so no one wants to order them. You know, like you gotta go to the counter like, yeah, can I have a 12 ounce? I barely knew my father. Uh, my friend Jeremy wants a 16 ounce addicted to Pilsner. Uh, can I can I try that blonde blue eyed lager Adolf Hopler? Uh, wine, can we get a glass of statutory grape? Uh, grape puns, good stuff, good stuff. Toby, are you married? What's going on with this relationship, Toby? Second day. A brave man, Toby, a brave man. I feel that little gonad dropping right now. I like it, Toby. Deep, what? Learning a lot. Okay, let's let's get. You want me? Do you want me? To, do you this? Do you know this? Toe? Have you guys been intimate? Okay, we won't do that. Okay, we won't do that. Toby, where are you from? You're from Australia, and you live in Sacramento now. What happened there? Why'd you come here? Bad city. Bad to know. It's a great city. Yeah. Why are you here though? Five. Oh, you have kids here. How did they get here? <laughs> they motherfuckers ran away! <laughs> They're very clever little children, yeah. Uh, why, do you like America more than Australia? Tread carefully. <laughs> what was your job? What brought you here? You're a nurse! <laughs> well, well, my mom's a nurse, Toby. I know you're not all heroes. Uh, <laughs> very well who doesn't like immigrants. Uh, they're not all good people, nurses. How many kids you got, Toby? Two kids. You love them equally, or are you an honest man? You love them more. Thank you. Thank you. Which one do you love more and why? You like the younger son? He's more like me. Is the other one a woman? Is, that, are they, is the other child a daughter? No, oh, because I was like, they seem more like you the more I get to know you. Uh, because he's a little bitch. Do we not? Okay. Everyone's like, you're being a little too mean to Toby. Okay, Toby, the crowd took your side there, and I hate that. And I hate that, Toby. Did you go, you didn't get to go home for the, do you, you don't celebrate Thanksgiving in Australia, I guess. It's not a holiday yeah, for you. Right, yeah. yeah. When, what do you, what did you guys celebrate for massacring the aboriginals? <laughs> Six. There you have one too. Like, oh, we didn't forget. Uh, I love that. Yeah. Take it to those abos. Yeah, I know. That's a little slur you say in Australia, isn't it? I learned your culture. I'm very knowledgeable on slurs around the world. <laughs> I love Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's fun. I think one thing I was thinking about that's funny during the holidays is when, like, young, like, 
liberal people are like, I'm scared to go home for the holidays. I'm scared for what racist shit grandpa's gonna say. <laughs> I think you gotta think about the holidays from grandpa's perspective. He's like, what fucking woke cuck beta shit is that little bitch doing that this year? He's like, oh, is Shrek black now? What the hell? I didn't get gonorrhea in Saigon, so the purple M&M could be bisexual. Right. This generation's a bunch of weak, effeminate, sissy losers without intelligence or direction, and can someone change my diaper? Uh, brand new joke, why not? Why not? <laughs> I was back home for Thanksgiving, Toby. I brought my girlfriend home for the first time. That's a big moment. That's a big moment. That's a big moment. Because you get to have that real quiet sex in your childhood bed, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I got covered early today. Uh, but you know what I mean by we're having sex in my childhood bed? She's like, she's like, give it to me, daddy. I'm like, don't wake father. Uh, you know? I'm just making eye contact with my old stuffed animals like, I told you I'd do it one day. <laughs> Never believed in me, you dumb moose. You know? <laughs> Thanks for letting me practice on you, bro. <laughs> Everyone's loving the show, but ma'am, I see you. You're not really digging that. You're not really, not really. The light is shining right on your blank face, and it's really not. I'm gonna think about that when the gun touches my uvula in the hotel room later. Uh, Rife was across town. I know it was a tough choice. You guys, you guys chose to get real comedy from someone with a natural jawline. I like that. 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 Once I pay for a new jawline, tell me it's over. Hollywood's gonna be like, oh my god, <laughs> that sexy little twinkle. When did you, uh, when did you lose your virginity, Toby? You're gonna be kind of my guy. I just want you to know. I like you. I don't think this little fucker could take it. So, freshman year of college, you were like 18 or so. Nice. I lost my virginity when I was 22. No, 25. Wow, that was wishful thinking. Even as I, even as I said, 25 lost my virginity. I think I deserve a medal for that. I'm the oldest virgin not to shoot up a school. When they're 17, I was bubbling with cum till I could rent a car. Uh, I lost my virginity after most Catholic priests. Uh, uh, I was in confession at 21, like, Father, I've never had sex. And he's like, Yeah, you have. You're Jack, right? Uh, Virginia in 2016, Toby, to a Ukrainian refugee. Woo! Before it was trendy. Uh, <laughs> while y'all were posted, I stand for Ukraine, I was laying down and not moving a lot for Ukraine. <laughs> Toby, uh, what was I gonna, I have one more question for you. Who do you vote for, Toby? <laughs> Just, uh, do you know yet? Did you find out? You don't know? It? Okay, so, would you, what was your name, ma'am? I didn't... What? Priscilla. Priscilla. How'd you meet Toby? Hinge. That's a great app. Yeah. That's a great app. I met my girlfriend on Hinge, Toby. You looks like you knew. You can filter by race, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> looks like you might have taken advantage of the feature, Toby. I like that. You guys know that? Hinge, you can, feature, you can uh, filter by race. But the race feature isn't free. I think that's very funny. <laughs> She's like, yup, racism's $8.95 a month, you know? For a buck more, we'll filter out the Jews, all right? Yeah, all right. They're tough to find, but we got a good algorithm, buddy. Yeah. Very good. You met on Hinge. Did you message him first? He messaged you first? What happened? He messaged, what'd you message? What was your, what's your line, Toby? Uh, we have mutual friends. So I you have mutual friends, so you knew he wasn't a murderer. That's great. That's great. Where was the first day, Toby? Uh, yeah. Midtown. Midtown. I don't know. Midtown? Is that just all of Sacramento? <laughs> Came over that right now. That was crazy, Toby. You take her to a nice little restaurant. 
Yeah, she picked the restaurant. Yes. I love it. She's a go-getter. She has a lot of opinions. Uh. What are you, what's your job, Priscilla? I don't know. You don't know? You work a corporate job. Uh, what was your job? What was your dream before capitalism stole it from you? <laughs> what was what you want to be as a child? An interior designer. You could do that. Oh, it doesn't pay. Oh, oh, you're old enough. Who gives a fuck? You want money? Well, it'll never fill your soul, Priscilla. I don't want you to know that. <laughs> I would like health insurance, that would be nice, but I love getting drunk in random cities every night. I wouldn't trade it for the world, so I wouldn't trade it for the world. But I do have a mole in my back that gets bigger every day. Uh. Oh, did someone say you talk about politics? Oh, okay. Uh. How is it going to I heard a little, little chirp in the wind. Uh. Just in Arkansas a couple weeks ago. Has anyone ever been to a Civil War museum in the South? Oh. I would highly recommend it because they tell it a little different. Oh. <laughs> I went to a Civil War reenactment in Arkansas. It looked more like they're practicing for the next Civil War. Oh. I was like, why are all the Union soldiers trans? Yeah, I don't remember. Why does the Confederate uniform say sponsored by my pillow on it? What's your day? What's, what's, what's going on with you? <laughs> CJ, what do you love about being CJ? You wake up and you're like, thank God for this. You're married to her. Oh, a little Aww. bitch answer, but I respect it. <laughs> you're gonna get some heavenly dome later, CJ. <laughs> the heavenly dome, that's a, that's a good band name. It's almost good. Uh, are you two married? You have children? No, why not, CJ? Dumb cum? <laughs> I think I got dumb cum. I've never worn a condom and it's never been a problem. Uh, I think my sperm's just like, where do we go? She's like, look at the pretty walls. <laughs> I don't want to be a dad. I don't want to be a dad. You know why? There's a thing dads do that I think is so pathetic. I hope you guys don't do this. The thing dads do where they're always like, talking about how beautiful their daughters are. Yeah. Oh, that's, bad. that's bad. You gotta cut that out, guys. That's a, these guys who are posting on Facebook, like, my daughter Stephanie looks beautiful in her prom dress. She's so mature. She really grew into her body. <laughs> no dad ever does that for his son. No dad's ever like, my son Timmy's smart, athletic, and he's got dick to feed the needy. Uh. <laughs> his height and length on the wall for years, you know. His prom day stuff and he's gonna be limping home. <laughs> CJ, who's your, uh, who's your football team? Who do you root for? Raiders. I love when people boo the team. It's like, you like a different multinational corporation? <laughs> You were born in a slightly different location? Fuck you, bitch! Because you don't pick the team, just like the team your dad liked. That's all football is. I'm a Vikings fan, just because my dad came in my mom in Minneapolis. That's it. My dad got horny on a spring afternoon and went, he's a Vikings fan! And that's, that's all it is, you know? Football. I was talking to my friend, he's like, I don't like football as much anymore because of the concussions. You know, you don't know what's going to happen to the players when they get older. I love that. I love to guess what's going to happen to that, you know? Like, whenever a running back gets fucking hit, I'm just like, oh, I bet he's going to run for Georgia Senator. Uh. Whenever Travis Kelsey gets lit up, I'm like, oh, that's a murder-suicide in 20 years. Uh. Like, oh, Travis Kelsey has a gun on the field! Uh, Travis Kelsey has a Beretta to his temple at the 50-yard line. He's screaming, I love you, Taylor, but I can't do this anymore! Uh, if, he, if he 
pulls the trigger, her next album's gonna be fire. Uh, everyone knows they would buy a copy of Fourth and Gun. Uh, I mean, the new jokes are just the next level. The next level. You know, you want to know this, Toby? This happened to me. I'm going to be vulnerable with you, Toby. My girlfriend lied to me the other day. Can you believe that, Toby? Can you fucking believe that shit? She lied to me. I ran to my fucking face, folks. We were having sex. I was throwing it down. We were at second 23 of 35. And she, uh... She looks up at me. She's like, you're the sexiest man in the world. I was like, how about you shut the fuck up? We have roommates. I'm not the sexiest guy in this apartment. Uh, I was like, you think I'm the sexiest man in the world? Like, wow, it's nice to meet the dumbest bitch in the world. Uh, I was like, really? I'm hotter than Channing Tatum? You're going to tell that right to my fucking face? You're going to tell me that? I told her, I was like, so Channing Tatum shows up at the door, nothing but a towel on. You'd just be like, oh. Sorry, Mr. Tatum. I have Jeffrey. Uh, he yelps when he comes. Uh, he sharts when he yelps. He's the sexiest man in the world. Very good. CJ, what religion were you raised? Catholic? Kinda? How do you get kind of the truth? You, you gotta either go on the one true path or you don't. Which one? You, you don't believe in God anymore? You hate to hear that, CJ. He's blessed you with so much, blessed you with a beautiful wife, and you can't give him the respect he deserves. You hate, that. You hate to see a man turn away from God like that, CJ. What if the rest of the set's like, y'all fear the Lord? Y'all ever felt the Lord tremble within you? Well, I won't do that again. Uh, CJ, who do you uh, who do you bank with, CJ? You're not gonna imagine this. But I'm gonna make banking very funny. <laughs> Who's your bank? You got oh, you got a couple banks. Oh, sorry, man. I didn't know I was talking to the mayor of Sacramento. <laughs> yeah, I have too much for the account at Chase, so I had to move over to American U.S. Bank. You got a couple banks. What is this? You a bank hipster? You've never heard of where I bank. Uh, You got nervous, didn't you, CJ? Yeah, I was like, the alpha was gunning you down, looking in your eyes, and you're like, I have multiple banks! How fucking pathetic is that? What are these banks? List them off. My mattress, my closet. Uh... <laughs> Don't even answer, I already made it funny. Don't worry. Uh... I'm just a puppet, and I'm just, I'm just, I'm just God. Believe in me, Steve. Uh, yeah, that was good. That was good. Well, sorry. Is that a Hall and Oates shirt? Right. Hell yeah, dude. Man, did you hear they're like suing each other? Yeah. yeah. Not really funny, it's just nice to meet people though. Yeah. <laughs> you guys take breaks during your job, I'm gonna take a break now. It'd uh, be funny the whole goddamn time. What's your, how do you guys all know each other? What's the vibe here, brother? You don't know each other? You met tonight, you like them? Yeah, well. Jesus! <laughs> You could be choosing your friends. So, uh, they don't like you. Oh, you like them. Yeah. And you, Jesus. Well, that's fun. A little fun to talk during the checks. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. Well, how do you how do you know this woman? Oh. I don't have time for these fucking cute little pauses. Uh, I got a fucking act to do, man. What's the fucking? How do you fucking know? No. Let me. I want to mock you. Uh, how do you, are you married? Is it your, what? Oh, nice. You have kids? One. One. Nah, you thinking of more or do you want a oh. freak? Oh. That's different. Snip, you snipped it? Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Woo! One kid! Woo! Hey. One and done. Good place to be. 
<laughs> yeah, okay. We're out on a date tonight. I couldn't do that one too. I would hope it's that the kids are under the table. Like. <laughs> More. That was funny. What's the problem, man? Do you, uh, what's your name? Uh, my name's Adolf. Adolf? Is that true? Oh! My parents are risk takers. Is that, is this true? Oh, <laughs> Benedict. Is that true? Benedict. Well, you're currently being a dick. Oh. <laughs> Truth up here. I don't want to be on YouTube. I won't. I, I don't think the interaction is going to be funny enough. Don't worry. Uh, I don't think. I think Toby and CJ kind of got the clips handled. I think uh, this is just me kind of letting my uh, the phlegm go down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. What is your name? Just be real. Mike. Mike. Was that so hard, Michael? Was that so hard? And what do you do, do for a living? I make Nazi uniforms. <laughs> for the Waffen SS. Uh, what is your job, Mike? I work for the State Water Board. You work for the State Water Board? Is that, what is that? Is that like a Guantanamo Bay thing or what? State Water Board, I mean. Not right really thinking to make that connection. I'll let you know. I swear I'm not sick, I just... I just... <laughs> SHUT UP! <laughs> what if I just fucking lick it off? <laughs> no, we're all good now. That was bothering me the last couple minutes. Now we're fucking right. I was crushing with that. Look at this, Toby. Look at this shit. <laughs> That's great. That's disgusting. Okay, now we gotta we gotta do a real hitter, heavy hitter here. Okay, this one's great. Okay. This is a weird one. This has been one of the best shows I've done in a while. You guys are really cool. I like you. I like you, man. Are you a liquid death? A liquid death table. I like liquid death. You guys know what liquid death is? It's like this like hardcore water. Liquid death's just like I'm sober, but I don't want to be. <laughs> Like was just like if I had to drop a rum, I'd ruin this marriage. <laughs> I gotta write that down. That's really funny. Uh, that's really funny. So remember that, Toby. Remember that. Remember that little liquid death thing. Okay. I live in uh, New York. You ever heard of it, you small town fucks? Uh, I live in Brooklyn. A lot of, a lot of like young liberal progressive people. You ever notice that no matter how progressive someone is, they always have at least one hateful opinion? Yeah. <laughs> no one on earth wants equality. Everyone hates a group of people. They'll tell you who they hate if you talk to them long enough. On the count three, Sacramento, let's shout out the group who we hate. Whoa. A few of the older people are like, finally, comedy like it used to be. I believe that everyone has a hateful opinion deep down. You know what I mean? You'll talk to the wokest white woman ever. She'll be like, I believe in my body, my choice. I believe black lives matter. I believe the climate is changing because the Jews stole the weather keys. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has a bad opinion. This is my bad opinion. Okay, you're going to get mad during the premise, but just know there's a little twist in 30 seconds and you're going to be like, my God, he's done it again. <laughs> uh, just hang in there. Okay, this is my bad opinion. I think that white people are the best. Good night, Sacramento. No. No, I think this is my bad thing. I think that white people, I think we should be allowed to do racial accents. I think they're funny. I'm particularly good at a few of them. Uh, I think we should be allowed to do racial accents as long as they're wildly inaccurate. You can do an accent if it's wrong. You can be like, I hate 
Muslims. They're always like, mm, me so Muslim. Uh, me pray five time. Uh, I, uh, God, that's my favorite joke. Uh, by far my favorite joke. I want me so Muslim to be my kid or done. I want to get on stage and I was like, me so Muslim! What have I been up here? Holy shit, 47 minutes? I was only contracted to do 45, so the rest is free, folks. The rest is free. All right, we'll do my 20 more, and you wish I did about eight. Uh, what religion were you raised, Toby? In Australia, sports. Remember what Mike did? No religion. No religion. None. You hate to hear that, Toby. You hate to hear that. Glad we're hanging out in this life because we won't be hanging out after it. I was raised Catholic, one true faith. We all know that. And, uh, this is the thing I was thinking about recently. When I was a kid, was anyone else mad that Jesus came back on Easter on a Sunday? Yeah. I was always like, you couldn't even get me a day off of school, you little bitch. Like, Martin Luther King got us a three-day weekend. Uh, maybe we're worshiping the wrong black man. Okay. I do. I think religion can be good, but I think a lot of people use it the wrong way. I don't understand people who wear, like, like cross necklaces or like shirts that say like I love Jesus. It's like you think you're gonna get to the gates of heaven and God's like, well, Jim, you didn't respect women, you didn't volunteer, you didn't donate to charity, but you bought my merch, buddy. Uh, get in here, pick a virgin, any virgin, you know. But Anne Frank's available. Come on. people in heaven, no Muslims in heaven, no Hindus in heaven. What was that? Is she okay? I just want her to be okay. Comedy's not about timing. Don't ever think it is. It's not about timing. We, 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 we plan for that. I plan for that. I like that. I like that. And honestly, that joke wasn't really that great. It kind of peaked at the no Jews in heaven. Uh, but the thing, I, okay, the thing, I'll just do the rest of it. But you know, like, there's, there's probably, have you ever met a person you think is going to heaven, Toby? Really? Ah, oh, that kind of fucks the joke up. Uh, who do you think, who, do, who have you met that's going to heaven? Who do you think? Priscilla, my girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> who do you think? Who do you think? No, 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 you can, no, it's fine. I, I'm willing to deviate and riff. I don't care. <laughs> Who? Jim Harbaugh? <laughs> Mike and Toby, you're gonna burn in hell. Oh, yeah, no, no. Jim Harbaugh? Do we think the Australian accent is sexy? I don't know. Can you just say, like, say, it's talk for, like, a, a 20 seconds? Oh. It's not, it's not sexy, for sure. No way. But I'm so glad that we came to show you. Oh, I like you, Toby. I like you a lot. What do you think, Chris? Did you guys go to dinner before this? Yes. Did you? What do you think about Toby? He's a good guy. He seems like a solid guy. I like. Where are you from, Chris? Are you from Sacramento? Nice. You like it here? What was your desk jockey yeah. job? What was the job you didn't like that you had? You didn't say what it was specifically. Oh, you don't hate your job? That's like the fact. I started having a seizure. Too boring! Kidding, <laughs> Priscilla. Kidding. She's awesome, Toby. Toby, this is a little bit. Do you like to listen to music when you make love, Toby? <laughs> what do you put on the playlist, Toby? <laughs> Some rap. <laughs> what kind of rap are you making love to, Toby? I'd love to hear this. Uh, Cardi B. Cardi B. <laughs> okay, let's all close our eyes and imagine Toby coming. <laughs> 
of Bodak Yellow. way down there. Right? That's awesome. You dirty talking in bed, Toby? Yeah, absolutely. What's a Toby classic? Just be, let's role play it. I'm Priscilla. And I'm coming for that cock. Uh, Thanksgiving was last week, but I'm still a goblin. Oh, we're having a great time, bud. She always wants to listen to 90s R&B in bed, and I'm always like, ah, I only fuck to white music, I'm sorry. I can't keep up with the sexy of black music, you know? The performance I put on in bed while boys to men plays is racist. Uh, it looks like I'm scared that it's not Coldplay, you know? My hips are just like, play the Lumineers, you know? I like uh, country music. I thought of this one. Country, I love country music. I think country music is one of the best genres, low key. But I think one thing that's funny about country music, every like, uh, you ever notice that every like male country songs about them wanting to have sex outside? Yeah. Every male country singer is just singing about wanting to fuck in the weeds by a polluted creek or whatever. <laughs> but if you ever had sex outside, it's not the ideal place to have sex. I want an uh, I want an honest song where they're like talking about where they're like. We made love with the birds and the bees, and we both got Lyme's disease. <laughs> <laughs> Rolled in the hay out by the old barn, I got tetanus and lost my arm. <laughs> 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 really we do a fucked up one? Okay, this one's kind of so just don't get mad during the premise. It's gonna be how you guys. It's a joke. I'm not being serious. Okay. You guys are yay or nay on mass shootings? Where are we at? Uh, this is funny. It's funny. You really like it. You really like it. I think, of course, terrible things. I think, unfortunately, our politicians were never gonna do anything to stop them. So we gotta make the best of them. I'm a glass half full guy. We gotta make the best of them. We gotta divert the shooters to good targets. You know. Because it's always a school, never a Goldman Sachs board meeting. You know? can call like, uh, sorry, I'm considering committing mass violence. We're like, okay, dude, don't worry. We got you covered. April 4th, got you tickets. Imagine Dragons concert. Uh. <laughs> you hit your quota, you can do the Bezos wedding, okay? <laughs> that was a little wild. That was a little bit wild. <laughs> CJ, are you, uh, do you like to weight lift? Do you weight lift your CJ? Really? Do you grunt? Do you grunt when you weigh lift? Go, you're a good man. Don't you hate those guys who do that shit? I think you should be allowed to make noise while you weigh lift, but you should have to shout the reason why you're weight lifting. You know, like all these buff dudes like, I can't read! <laughs> I watched Game Point, I'm afraid I liked it! <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Does anyone, this is important, does anyone listen to my podcast? Yeah! yeah. God, otherwise it was gonna be a... Uh... <laughs> and y'all were gonna get to watch me come. CJ uh... <laughs> like that a lot. Like, uh... If you don't know, I have a podcast with my friend Alex. It's called the You're an Idiot Podcast. One of the greatest podcasts of all time. Yeah, it's great. We're 93 episodes in. 93 episodes and word free, unlike Joe Rogan. And, uh... Just pick a different slur, Joe. It's easy. Uh... Okay, I shouldn't have said that, I shouldn't have said that, whatever. Here's the thing, I went to the University of Wisconsin-Madison, go Badgers, our colors are red and white. And here's the thing, I didn't realize how MAGA this looked until I ordered 7,000 of them. And, uh, but I still have to sell them after the show, and pay what you want, I don't have health insurance. And, uh, this is the last thing, okay, I found like four of these shirts I made like a decade ago. You remember, this is so stupid, you remember that hip-hop song in the early 2000s, My Neck, My Back, Like My Pussy, and My I made a controversial version of that where I have a few of it. it says, My neck, my back, stop the war in Iraq. And, uh, and you could argue the shirts worked. You could argue. It's not accurate anymore, but I'm 
I'm sure we'll return. Uh, you know how neoliberal foreign policy works. We'll be back. Uh, Toby, last question for you. Do you watch porn, Toby? What type of porn do you watch, Toby? What? Sports porn? I'm glad you shouted that out. That was really good. That added a lot of color to the show. I think that was good. That was a good, if you ever think about like adding something that I might make funny, just shout it out. <laughs> oh, I love that. It's a town hall, folks. It's a town hall. This is a democracy, and it always will be, Toby. Uh, I don't know about Australia, but that's how we do it here. Uh, what type of porn do you watch? Sports porn? <laughs> that lady said that'd be pretty funny. Sports porn. You were right. You were right. What type of porn do you watch this fucking seriously, dude? <laughs> Threesomes. I love that, Toby. I love that. This is the thing about me. No one ever believes this. I watched porn once when I was 16. I've never watched it since. I, 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 I think you all are pathetic, degenerate troglodytes. And I am better than you, it's no doubt. You need porn to come, Toby? What? It's, it's embarrassing. I need to see a cock for my cock to know what to do. This is a porn I directed in my head this afternoon at the Hilton down the street for about 3.30, 3.45. It was a 15 minute porn. This is the porn I watched in my head. This one's called, this one's called Thanksgiving Afternoon, but the extended family's asleep, but the cousin I'm not blood related to shoves me in the bathroom. Sucks the gravy out of me. Do you guys do Amber Alerts in California? I mean, you get them on your phone, do you get them on your phone? Okay. I thought every state did that, but then I did a show in Bozeman, Montana a couple weeks ago. And I, it's a great place. And I asked this guy, do you guys do Amber Alerts? And he's like, nah, man, that's big government. We'll find our own kids, Mr. Biden. <laughs> Don't need you sniffing them first. You know? The other day I was in, uh, I was in Brooklyn. You ever heard of it? And, uh, friends got an Amber Alert on their phone, but I didn't get an Amber Alert on my phone, and I was just like, am I the suspect? Uh, they're like, child age 10, last thing with a white man who looks like pussies, too spicy for him. Uh, You guys, uh, is anyone else done with new technology? Yeah. Hey, good, I like you guys. I, I'm, I don't need a new tech gadget for the rest of my life. I'm done. Once my refrigerator could crush its own ice, I was like, that seems like the end. <laughs> I get so pissed off by technology. I was sitting with my friend, we were on his couch, and he was like, yo, Alexa, turn on the Roomba. I was like, you just told a robot to tell another robot to do a chore your wife could do. Like, why are we, why are we taking jobs away from American women? I, 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 you guys are cool. You guys are cool. Let's do a pro women joke, though, Toby. Let's just let's even it out. Let's even it out. Toby, are you a feminist? I like to think so. I like that. You're trying. It's a, it's, a, it's a work in progress. I like that, Toby. I think women who are feminists are better at sex than women who aren't. I've, uh, I've had sex with three women in my life. I've crunched the numbers. I'm ready to make that conclusion. <laughs> my girlfriend's a big feminist. Makes sex better between us. Like, I don't like being on top. I don't like that position. You knew that by looking at me. And, uh, <laughs> I use my girlfriend's feminism to my advantage. Like, whenever she asks me to get on top of her, I'm just like, Would Ruth Bader Ginsburg get on top of her? No, Ruth Bader Ginsburg would ride this dick into the sunset. Just to prove a woman could. And then Ruth Bader Ginsburg would let me borrow 45 bucks so I can see Oppenheimer again. Napoleon now, I should have said Napoleon, that'd be funny, that'd be funny. Are you a reader, uh, Toby? Like
like to read? What do you read, fiction or nonfiction? <laughs> Someone said porn. <laughs> that was great. That was great. Two for two. <laughs> that was really good. Toby reads. You read porn? <laughs> you fucking sick bitch. That's sick, Toby. That's sick. <laughs> what do you read, fiction or nonfiction? Fiction. Oh, Toby, really? You read fiction? I thought you were a better man than that. Fiction's for children, Toby. Does <laughs> everyone else agree? It's like you're 25, you're like, oh, what's gonna happen? It doesn't matter! <laughs> it's not fucking real, you moron! <laughs> nonfiction, read nonfiction, you learn there's lives at stake. It's fucking, it colors your view of the world. Read nonfiction, you, oh, CJ's out. He's a fiction guy. <laughs> He's a fiction guy. I love Harry Potter, don't you dare! <laughs> Fiction's better, Toby. The lives are. You get, I'm reading a book about World War II. I'm like, oh, don't kill Adolf. <laughs> you get attached to the characters, you know. Whenever I read a book about World War II, I'm like, when are they going to complete the trilogy? This is amazing. <laughs> That's a good one. Man, let's just keep going. I am. Uh, you guys are cool. Though. You guys are cool. Though. Okay. I live in uh, Brooklyn. You ever heard of it? <laughs> One thing I, in my neighborhood, there's a lot, a lot of pedal pubs. And they're my neighbor. You guys know what a pedal pub is? No. It's like these, like you can like ride on this little bike and you can oh, like pedal this bar around. It's like, it's like shrieking hordes of white women. What is it called? Oh, it's a. Oh, okay. I didn't know the antiquated culture here. Uh, <laughs> We call it pedal pumps where we have internet. Uh... God, I'm so fucking quick, dude. If only I could be happy. Uh... What, what was it called? Brew bike. Brew bike. Y'all ever, ever heard of these brew bikes? where I live in Brooklyn, yeah. These, it's like these hordes of white women, they're trying to ruin joy, they're like screaming, it's terrible. I think brew bikes, I think that should be legal, but every day one of them should have a bomb under it. <laughs> if you're gonna ruin my afternoon, I wanna change the fireworks, you know? Like, let's, let's make Midtown look like Gaza, you know? Like, uh, oh, maybe you didn't like that joke, I'm sorry. My bombs are less accurate than Israel's. So, uh, didn't do well here, but down the street it killed in a hospital. Uh, it's funny if you're on the right side of history. Uh, that was a pretty good one, Toby. That's a great joke. That's a really good joke. That's kind of someone called brilliant. Uh, CJ, you missed it. You have a little good potty. You drain your little tinky. a little bitch. It's so fun. What's your job, CJ? Did you say? IT. IT. God, that's not gonna do anything. Uh, <laughs> gotta get out of here, folks. Man, I just keep no. going, though. Like, no, we're ten. We need to get the fuck out of here.
like New York because everyone in New York, they're so proud of their little piss hole. People who are from there, they're so, they're so contemptuous of anyone from anywhere else in the world. Like whenever I tell New York I'm from Minnesota, they're always immediately like, Oh yeah, ya betcha, oh yeah, Minnesota. We don't talk like that, fuck you, dude. I, hate it. I don't do that to a New Yorker when they say they're from Manhattan, I'm not like, Oh no, the towers are falling. Pretentious man. I told I told this guy I was from Minnesota. He's like, I don't think I could find Minnesota on a map. I'm like, yeah, dude, neither can Al Qaeda. Uh, <laughs> sorry, folks. Now a lot of jokes coming too. Is one for each tower. I respect the process. Yeah, you guys are fucked up. I love it. I'm from a very, uh, I'm from a very right-wing family. Uh, it's pretty fun. I like, I like the vibe. I like it. My dad the other day, we were, I was talking to my dad over Thanksgiving. He's like, I fucking hate Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. And I was like, that's your right, dude. Whatever. And he's like, also, she's an ugly whore. I was like, Dad, you bang mom. sucking your poop back into your asshole. You might just like it, brother. <laughs> my mom, I said this to my mom, she's not a fan of immigrants. And I agree, good night. Uh, I know. <laughs> no, she's one of these people, she's always like, why won't they learn English? Why won't they learn our fucking language? I can't understand them. I think that's the best part about immigrants, when they don't learn English. I love that. I hate when I meet anyone and they speak English. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I have to hear your dumb fucking thoughts now. Because <laughs> you never hear a Syrian refugee who survived the chemical gas attacks in Aleppo go, <laughs> I'm pansexual. Uh, this is Suleiman, my emotional support camo. Uh, my pronouns are Allahu Akbar. Uh, me so Muslim. Uh, should have ended there, but I'm a greedy little fuck. I, uh, I live in Brooklyn, you are <laughs> That's so funny. One thing I hate about living in New York, I hate tourists who, all the tourists who visit New York, they all want to see, like,